There are some incredibly cool things coming in 10.2. For the first time ever, Blizzard decided to do something in regards to making Blade Masters playable, although it isn't exactly a new class. We have data mined some really interesting Dreadlord armors with actually animated wings that are looking a little bit goofy, not gonna lie. They're still not assigned to anything. We got a really interesting mechanical goblin type armor sets that have this Mad Max Fallout feel to it, which could be a hint for Undermine. And of course, we got some Tuscar stuff sprinkled into this, which always brings up the famous playable Tuscar option. So what are all these new data mine 10.2 PTR news, armors, cosmetics, and customizations? So I've been using this wallet for nearly two months and it is amazing, super simple, you got the cards here, you got the cash, it's very simple, and you can also fit in this little tracker card that you can use to find your wallet through the app if you ever end up losing it. Best of all, they got so many awesome designs, there's the premium leather, there's carbon fiber, there's aluminum, and they also have amazing key cases that can also be fitted with these little trackers so you never actually end up losing your keys. So it's never been a better time to get your own extra wallet. If you use my link in the description and the code DORON, you can get a huge discount with up to 25% off. So check out Extra Wallets. Now, I don't generally make videos in regards to specific 10.2 updates such as armors, customizations and all that, but I had to talk about this one because it might just be one of the coolest things they have done so far. If you watch my previous videos, you might know I have covered the Blade Masters as a playable class quite a few times at this point as one of the very popular requests from the community, and it looks like Blizzard is finally doing something in regards to that, although not as a class, but as a cosmetic that is coming in the trading shop, and this could only be the start of it. Blade Masters have been one of the most iconic classes in the game since Warcraft 3, as we could literally play with them back in the RTS, and they have missed the opportunity to add them as a playable class in Worlds of Draenor when we visited the actual Blade Masters in a grand, and it never really came to be. But realistically, even though personally I'd love to play a Blade Master as a class, I do honestly think the cosmetic thing they're doing right now might be the best way to go about it, actually. While we have certain classes, for example, like the Wardens or the Spellbreakers that are options that are completely different from the currently available playable classes, Warriors are realistically way too similar to Blade Masters. In fact, they adapted like half of their RTS abilities outside of the Stealth Walk, but you literally got Blainstorm, you got a giant sword, you got the crits, all we need is mirror images on top of all that. So in 10.2 PTR, we have data mined and finally assigned what this actually is, and we are getting the so-called Blade Master Stones, the famous necklaces that allow of Samura would wear, and you can have multiple colors from purple to blue to red to green to orange or yellowish. What is really interesting about this is that this is actually a chest item, despite the fact that it is around your neck, which means it can work perfectly with your Blade Master transmog and all the other items that are available. Now, with this, the customizations, you got the perfect way to transmog your orc to become a Blade Master. You just spec into one large sword and just your Blade Master your way with it. The only thing missing are the mirror images and Windwalk, but I really don't think that is that relevant for Blizzard to ever add a new class over that. So this might be it from our dreams, which that's been real, we're never really all that realistic in the first place to have playable Blade Masters, but honestly, it is nice that Blizzard cares about this. What is also really interesting is that there is no faction or race requirement for these, which means you can actually make a Goblin Blade Master, a Human Blade Master, or even a Torrent one. Sure, not exactly thematic, but they're going to be fun with the cost of 200 traders standard. Now, next down the line, we have actually determined this Wasteland Tenerys armor set, which is really something unique. Some see it as Goblin Heritage armor, but when you connect it to the other mechanical new items and hints we have received in 10.2 PTR, this could potentially be a hint for the next expansion. You can check out a full video on that and the other items that I mentioned on my channel together with this. However, this armor is very goblin-like. There is this goblin-type mechanical backpack. It has this strange Fallout Mad Max-type style to it which could signal a certain type of cataclysm and also going underground, as at the moment we have a few hints going around that Undermine being relevant on Kizan and potentially a new zone in 11.0 that works quite well with the other available Zalatat and Titan hints. However, next down the line, we have actually datamined a really surprising Dreadlord armor set that is probably also going to potentially be a part of the trading post, but keep in mind we have still not datamined what exactly this is a part of at the point of this video. What is really interesting to keep 
in mind is that we're getting completely unexpected Dreadlord activity in 10.1.7. Some things are definitely going on with him behind the scenes. We had that Dreadlord in the Night Elven Heritage quest line, the entire fight with the entire cinematic. We had these two Dreadlords battling each other that used to be Warlords of the Burning Legion. Very powerful ones at that. We have even found some demon models, some Burning Legion invasion plans. At the same time, Denatrius is always relevant as his story never finished. So while this could of course just be a cosmetic, it could be a slight hint that Dreadlords being relevant in the near future, the return of Revendreth and the Death Realm. Especially since we didn't actually get armors like this when they were their most relevant, which was in the Shadowlands. So we got two colors, we got dark green and purple, which is very, very Dreadlord-like colors. Now, I gotta say, the headpieces do look a tad bit goofy with the armors on some characters, as Dreadlords are usually massive, so they fill out these armors a bit differently. Honestly, I find this, like, similar to Felgar type armors, and a gnome, like, if you want gnome would wear a Felgar armor. However, the most interesting thing we can just date mine on top of that is these wings that are actually coming with the armor, which is actually a cape, and it is even animated, so they look exactly like living wings, like they're moving and all this stuff. This looks super cool when you observe them as a separate model, but when you actually look at them combined with the armor set in the set, it looks really, really goofy, like someone attached half a mini Illidan to the back of plate armor. Now, keep in mind, this is PTR, some people are attaching them to armor, so they may not be the final product, or Blizzard might fix them, but in the current state, I honestly kind of see these wings are looking really goofy. Now, other than this, other things are here in the PTR as well, and something that is always a speculation favorite, and that is that we have data mine the so-called Tuscar boots. They seem to be in multiple colors, they're just called Tuscar boots, and at this point in time, they don't seem to be attached to anything else, we have no idea what this is. Keep in mind, a lot of these data mine armors are never 100% certain what they're going to be a part of, whether it is a trading post, quest item, or whatnot. Now, I know what you may be thinking, wow, we data mine a single boot item, that means I'm gonna say that the playable Tuscar are coming, and <laughs> for some people, you might not even need that, as playable Tuscar requests have been a thing since Wrath of the Lich King, a lot of people would want to see them. Keep in mind, this is not without substance, I've talked about this a few months back, we had a Blizzard employee that was showing his working interface, there seemed to be a forest troll and a Tuscar right in his toolbar. Furthermore, Tuscar had been a huge part of Dragonflight with cinematics, new cultures, brand new lore, new models, a lot of updates, so I could definitely still see them being picked up as an allied race at some point in Dragonflight, just how we picked up the races back in BFA from the islands, they got the culture, the lore, the looks, that it would really fit well with everything, they even got their own racial mounts. The only reason I think they might not be a thing is that they have been relevant at the start of the expansion, now we're in the Emerald Dream, and it does seem like there won't be a 10.3 patch, so we may be leaving the Dragon Isles quite soon. However, there will certainly be 10.2.5, 10.2.7, which means that it could definitely involve some type of smaller scale storylines that could make this happen. Getting new races is really not out of hand at the end of the expansion, we had seen this previously with BFA, however, I gotta say I'm really looking into these Dreadlord armors and why they decided to add them right now. I don't think it's any playable race or anything of that sort, but it is possible that there could be some interesting hints about their involvement in the near future and the expansion. Remember, they had literally just freed Denatrius and actually succeeded in their mission back in Shadowlands, they ended on an open note, and we haven't learned anything about them, and realistically, Revendred, Dreadlords, and Denatrius have been my, like, number one bright spot in that entire expansion. Out of all of these though, I gotta say I'm most excited about the Blade Master armors. I think this might be the closest we're ever going to get to playing Samuro in World of Warcraft. Thank you for watching, check out a brand new hint for Zelda in 10.2 that signals the next expansion by clicking on the screen, and check out my video on Slavic Pirates and Vikings by clicking on the screen as well. See you next time!